Welcome back everybody to the Earthbound playthrough. This is part two, and we're going to be going back up to the hilltop where that meteorite landed. Yeah, I'm surprised I didn't mention that before, but yes indeed, a meteorite crashed down, and that was the whole reason why the screen shaked in the very beginning of the game slash playthrough. Ow! Doggy hurt! Doggy go die now! Pokey used Ant as a shield. As you, yeah, like I mentioned before, Pokey's absolutely useless! He just sits there and he just acts like a jerk. Pokey plain dead. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's all he does, so... Can't rely on him for anything. He will do absolutely nothing except just... Waste valuable space. Another 4 EXP. Anyway, uh, after this point, I'm going to be s sort of skipping over any enemy battles that I've already encountered. You know, any, any enemies that I've already encountered, I'm just going to skip over it. <clears throat> you, you'll see, though, in, in a bit. This here's the Spiteful Crow. I Gosh, I hate these crows because they seem to be able to dodge a lot, and also they uh, steal stuff from you. Yeah, they're jerks. I don't like them. Yeah. Some enemies do just sort of waste a turn, which is good, I must say. Alright then. Goody. A present! A cookie! Sweet! Yes, I... You know, I should definitely eat cookies off the ground. Ah! Oh, hey, nice. Anyway, that little green intro thing for this coil snake battle actually meant that we got a, um... A uh, surprise opening attack. If you approach enemies from behind, you'll get a surprise opening attack, and the uh, screen will sort of fade, and, you know, into a greenish color. But the enemy can also approach you from behind, and the screen will turn a reddish color, and they'll get a surprise opening attack. Yeah, it's pretty awesome though. Tactical advantages and, and what have you, and the police are gone. Ah, oof. <laughs> I just noticed. How is this doggy talking? Oh, well, it's Cory. Cory talks. Gasp. There's a little boy on the hilltop. Yeah, I don't... I don't doubt it. <laughs> Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, unlike Pokey, Picky is actually quite useful. Well, not too useful. Just, just to spoil it, there's only one fight that you'll actually have Picky as an ally in. And that'll be coming up in just a bit. What the heck is going on here? A godlike beam of light. And there's a little bug. A bee I am. Not. <laughs> I love that. This is a sort of um, plot advancement. Yeah, talking about Gygus being a super evil being from the space? Can't remember now. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, this is, um... This is a... Gr this is great, you know. One, I mean, one night I just go to bed and... You know, everything's just fine in my life. The next thing I know, I'm being told by a bee that I have to go fight evil monsters and save the world. This is great. Buzz buzz. <laughs> yeah, it would be. Anyway, the reason why I said Porky is his original name is because that was his name in Japan. But unfortunately, I think perhaps they might have gotten sued. Okay, that was totally creepy. <laughs> Can you come visit me later? Alone. Do, 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 do. I love that little noise. But anyway, I think they might have thought they would get sued by Warner Brothers because, you know, Porky the Pig, that whole thing. Yeah. Not 100% sure on it, though, but I, I, I would guess that. That's just my guess. We're going to be going back home now. Oh my god, what's going on? Ah, what's this thing? It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. <laughs> Bad guy alert! I do like this music, though. This game's got some great music. Anyway, 
this is a psychic shield. There's uh, two different types of shields. There's a light shield, which, um, which, ah, what is it? it? It's a light shield that reduces damage from physical attacks, and then there's a psychic shield, which, I think, yeah, it just blocks psychic attacks, which is what that Starman Jr. just used on us. He used PSI Fire Beta, which definitely would have killed us all in one hit if not for the shield. Yeah. Now I just decided to put the auto battle on, which is something that really is not that useful, except for, I suppose, the very beginning of the game, because all you're going to be doing is just using Bash the whole time. I just figured, you know, this would make it go faster. And it did. Oh ho! 16 EXP! Another level up! Yahoo! Man, wow, 13 HP, I love that. That's the great thing about RPGs, is the level up. What a wacky plot this is turning into be. Turning out to be. Yeah. Anyway, so apparently Gygus' evil influence has, um taken over the minds of certain animals and people. Yeah, I couldn't decide where to go, so I just decided to go back home first. This is fun. When you go back home and you talk to mom, yeah, she... Do <laughs> you like peach, don't you? Too bad. When you Normally, when you go back home, you'll, uh, your mother will uh, give you your favorite food and then tell you to go to bed, where, you know, you'll have, like, a little cut scene where you just sort of go to bed and wake back up. But when you have, in the very beginning of the game, when you have these guys with you, she just says, why don't you eat some your favorite food? Yeah, that is never going to get old, seriously. Why don't you go eat some peach? <laughs> uh. Anyway, this is Pokey's parents. Pokey and Picky, of course. Oh, God. I think it's corporal punishment time. Yep, that was definitely corporal punishment if I ever heard it. Uh-huh. Oh, sure you are. Mm-hmm. Sure you did. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah! This Look at this gigantic house. This is definitely poverty. <laughs> Nicest guy I ever met. Hey! Hey! Ah! She hit Buzz Buzz! <gasps> Why? Get out of my way! Time skip. Yeah, I know, that was kind of weird. <laughs> you evil, evil lady! You you killed Buzz Buzz! How could you? You and your tons of lipstick on your clown-like mouth. Hmm. Eight points. This sounds interesting. Your sanctuary. Yes, yes, I do. The pain. <laughs> so dramatic. <laughs> totally awesome. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I think I'd rather let you die than, than have you explain a long story all over again. I got the soundstone! Sweet! Um, uh, okay. Thank you. Ah, Buzz Buzz, he disappeared. <laughs> uh. And as we go outside, the dawn of a new light shines upon us. It shines upon us the advent of a new adventure a new adventure in the game of earthbound join me in part three where i'll be uh, exploring more stuff and getting into the actual game so see you all next time